purpose of this video is to show you how a Presso sustaining valve works. Here we have a B2000 Presso sustaining valve together with a Presso sustaining three-way pilot. The flow direction is from left to right. So this is the upstream and this is the downstream connection. The very first you have to do is to release the air pocket you will have on the chamber. To do this, you have to turn the selector on the three-way valve to the closed position. In this way, you will fill the chamber with water. To release the air, you have to turn the selector to the open position and keep it open within a few seconds. With this, you will release the air which will keep on the chamber. Again, we will put the selector on the closed position and we'll repeat the same as before to release all the air. Now we have to set the pressure on the pilot. To set the pressure on the pilot, the one we have to do is to turn the screw all the way down and in this way we will keep the valve closed. After doing that, we have to open as much sectors as possible in our irrigation system. Now we are going to set the pressure on the pilot. You have to turn the selector to the auto position and the screw on the pilot, you have to turn it on the anti-clockwise, gently and slowly. When you will see water releasing from the vent port or the pilot, it means the valve start to open. So you have to wait for a few seconds in order your system will be filled of water. Whenever your system will be filled of water, this is the time you have to start to fine tune the pressure you want to get in your system. By using a tool, you have to unscrew a little bit the screw, okay? And whenever the pressure needed will be reached upstream the valve, you have to lock this nut to avoid someone can change the pressure selected. This is the way you have to follow to set the pressure sustaining valve. But if you want to get a few more information about any of the valve, you can go to our website or ask to our technical department in Rivulis.